Hello, how are you today, everybody? Excellent, good. I'm really good too. Okay, today we are gonna see something that we already know because every day we talk about the weather. What's the weather like today? We ask. Okay, so today we're gonna continue with this theme. What's the weather like? Okay, to talk about the weather, we use symbols, symbols like this cloud. What is the meaning of this cloud when we talk about the weather? It means it's cloudy, of course, it's cloudy. When we use the sun, the symbol of the sun, we mean it's sunny, yes, the meaning is it is sunny. The same thing with this, it's a cloud and some snow falling from the cloud, so it is snowy, of course. What about this one? Mm, this is a tricky one. We see some lighting going, coming down from the dark cloud. This is stormy, stormy, excellent. Oh, what about this symbol? This symbol is different, yes, it's new. It is windy and this thing here is a windsto windsock, a windsock, okay? So when the windsock is full, it means that it is very windy, okay? So windy. And what about this? So easy. When do you see the water coming from the clouds? I mean, that is rainy, of course. Oh, what about this symbol? An arrow going up and a thermometer next to the arrow? Yes, it means it means that is it is hot. That the temperatures are going up. The temperatures are the temperatures are high, okay? High temperatures, it's hot. And this symbol is the contrary. The, temper the temperatures are going down. There are low temperatures, 10 degrees or less. So it is cold, it is cold. And this final symbol with some lines, horizontal lines, it means that it's foggy, okay? We see fog and it's difficult to see through the fog. A lot of uh, clouds on top of the of the floor, yes? On of the floor. Okay. So, what's the weather like? We say, it is sunny today, it is cloudy, it is rainy. What do you think in here, in this map? This weather lady or weather woman is telling us what the weather is going to be like for this uh, Friday. So we see some symbols of the sun. So it's here is going to be sunny, yes. Here is going to be rainy in Galicia. What about here in Madrid? In Madrid it's going to be partially cloudy with some clouds and sun. Do you see this? When you see the sun and the clouds and the same symbol, it means it's going to be partially or partly cloudy with some clouds and sun, okay? So, rainy here, cloudy there, sunny on the south in Andalusia, and here, we, when you see, where you see the lighting, it's going to be stormy, yes, stormy, okay? Yes, so in this map, we've seen the si symbols of the weather in general. But in this map, we see something else. What do you see? Uh, the beginning, uh, uh, here on top of the, the screen, the television screen, we see another new symbol. This symbol, with a little zero here and a big C, means temperature, Celsius, temperature. Okay, we are talking about now temperatures and we know the temperatures, we recognize them on the maps because they are numbers. Temperatures are numbers like this 23, this 6, or here in Barcelona 22 and 15. Okay, so two numbers in each place. What does it mean, the big number on top, the white number? The world number is the maximum, like in Madrid. Maximum temperature for this day is 27 degrees Celsius. 27 degrees Celsius. Like this, 27 degrees Celsius. And here in Madrid we have the minimum of 8 
degrees Celsius, okay? Celsius with the C, degrees with the zero, little zero on top, and A, the number. Excellent. So these are the temperatures on the map. And how do m we measure these temperatures? Well, we use this thing, this big thing, is a thermometer, okay? Do you see the little zero and the big C? These are the temperatures in degrees Celsius, okay? So here it, it says there is 21 and 22, 22 degrees Celsius, okay? With the red liquid, we see that is 22 degrees Celsius. This is a thermometer, okay? Thermometer. Also, we have very small thermometers for people. When you're sick, your mommy and daddy give you this little thermometer so you can measure your temperature, okay? Uh, when you have like 38 degrees Celsius, you have fever, you are sick, okay? You stay home, don't come to school. <laughs> okay, so in, in this map, and this map Spain, we have another symbol. Is it windy? Is the question. Is it windy? What do you think here? Do you see the arrows? The blue arrows? Blue arrows, blue arrows, arrows everywhere. The arrows are the symbol for the wind. <sighs> for the wind. So when you see arrows like this, a simple arrow with just one line at the bottom, it means there is no so much windy, okay? It's windy but not very strong. But when you see arrows with one, two, and three, sorry, two or three lines, two like these, or maybe three lines, mm, I don't see here three lines, but ah, yes, here, three lines at the end of the arrow, it means that the wind is very strong, wow, so strong, very strong wind is dangerous. <sighs> oh, come on, be careful. Yes. So the arrows are the symbol for the windy. Windy. Okay. So what is the winter season like? We know that the weather, the weather changes, changes, in the different seasons. The first season of the year, remember, is the winter. Yes. The first season in, in November in of the year is winter. But do you know the months of the year that they they form the winter season? Yes, they are a little bit of December, some days of December, the whole January, the whole February and uh some some days of March. So right now we are in winter. Okay? And in the winter, the weather is cloudy, snowy, rainy, and cold. Ooh, look at this boy shivering. Oh, it's very cold. Okay? So, December, January, February, and March, we are still in winter. And in winter, some animals hibernate. Hibernate. Let this little mouse, the squirrel, the bear, and the hedgehog. The hedgehog. Oh, three little hedgehogs. Because it's very cold and there is no food, no food, these animals sleep for months until the spring comes, okay? They can be sleeping, not eating, for a long time. In winter also, the trees, like this tree, have no leaves, no leaves, bye-bye leaves. And the flowers are gone too. Do you see the flowers? No, because there are no flowers in winter. Oh, in the street, yes, outside. <coughs> in winter, the days are very short, okay? The night comes very soon. So there is less sun and less light and less hot. It's cold. In winter, we wear clothes that keep us warm because it's very cold. We need scarves, coats, gloves or mittens, sweaters, boots, boots and a uh, wool hat, okay, maybe.
Do you wear all this in the winter? Yes, it's very annoying. Oh, but there comes the spring. After the winter comes the spring. Excellent. And what are the months? Which months form the win the spring? Sorry. Yes, some days of March, some days of March, the whole April, the whole May, and some days of June. Okay, and the wind in spring, the weather is sunny, but also rains a lot. Has a lot of rain in in the in the spring, so the plants can grow. Yes, and the temperatures go up. It's not so cold. It's not so cold anymore. We have also the heat from the sun. In spring, the days are long. They are not short like in winter. No, no. The there is more light. Do you see more sand? So. There is more sand, there is more light, and more uh, warm weather, okay? So you can play more time in the streets, in the parks. Excellent. In spring, because it rains, we have to wear wellies, yes, raincoats, and umbrellas. When it rains, obviously. In spring also, the plants have flowers, yes, we see the leaves on the trees, more animals are born and grow, the insects like the ants, the bees, the butterflies are back, and all the animals have lots of food, they're happy animals, yes. And then, after the spring, comes the summer, excellent, good. What months, how many months, and which months uh, form the summer? Do you know? Yes, some days of June, the whole July, whole August, and sub some days of September. Yes. And in June, you finish school. Ooh, are you happy about that? <laughs> okay, the weather in summer is hot, a lot of sun, a lot of temperatures, high temperatures, woo, high temperatures like over 30 degrees Celsius or over, woo, 30 or over. And it does not rain a lot, no, no, it's very dry. But it also is stormy. We have this lighting and the thunder, <laughs> yes, but it doesn't rain a lot, no, no. The summer has long days. I love that because we have lot and lot and lot and lot and lot of sun and light, so we can play more hours, and we can go to bed later because we don't have school. It's, um, it's nice, yes. And also in the summer, the flowers change; they become fruit, so we have more. Summer fruits, yes, like these cherry tea, tree flowers, they become cherries, the fruit. And in the summer, because it's so hot, hot, <laughs> we wear sandals, we don't wear boots, no, no, we wear sandals, we wear shorts, not long trousers, we wear swimsuits to go to the swimming pool, and we wear caps to protect our heads from the sun, from the heat, because it's so hot, <laughs> you can have problems if your head uh, is overheated. And we wear t-shirts with short sleeves, no long sleeves, no, 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 short sleeves, t-shirts. Okay. And then, after the summer comes the autumn or fall, uh, which are the months to form the autumn on fall, yes, some days of September, the whole October, the whole November, and some days of December. And in the autumn, the temperatures go down again, it's more, it starts to be cold, yes, and the days again are short, not so long, not so much light. And in autumn or fall, the leaves fall from the trees. Yes, here they are. Oh, falling. 
And in autumn it's windy again and it's rainy again, okay? Not so sunny, no. And we start to use again the clothes that keep us warm because it starts to be cold. We have to be to wear sorry, sorry, wellies, uh, raincoats, umbrellas, scarves, coats, gloves, mittens, sweaters, boots, and hats because it's not so hot. It's, it starts to be cold again. Okay, so let's have a look at the length of the days, okay? How much light do we have in the summer and spring? Oh, we have lots and lots of sun because the, the days are the days are long, okay? Longer days than in autumn and winter. These days are short, okay? Not so long. No, 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 short. Shorter days in autumn and winter and longer days in summer and spring. Okay, so how do we tell the weather? I'm sure you've seen the news on the television, the forecast that we say, the weather woman and the weather man saying, tomorrow will be, and on Tuesday next week will be cloudy. Oh, but how, how? The weatherman and the weather woman know the weather. How is it how is it gonna be? How how do they know? Because we use photographs from a satellite in the sky. Yes, yes. They take a picture of the clouds, yes? And they they take the temperatures of the of the countries, different countries, different cities, and they they tell us the weather tomorrow is going to be windy or it's going to be sunny, okay? And on television, when you see the forecast, you see the weather symbols, remember the symbols? These symbols on the maps, okay? So from a picture taken from a satellite, the weather woman and the weather man, they do the forecast and they show us with symbols how the weather is going to be like okay so here is the end of this uh, weather uh, theme see you soon bye bye